Hello everyone. Uh, I am here to take the fundamental theorem of rectangular gains uh, in the portion theory of gains. So first we look what is the statement of the theorem. The theorem states that for an m by n matrix game both maximum over x minimum over y e of x y and minimum over y maximum over x e of x y exist and they are equal. This is the statement of the theorem. Before going into the proof of the theorem we need to have some prerequisites. So we shall look what are the prerequisites. First of all what is mathematical expectation E of x, y? It is defined as follows. The mathematical expectation or the payoff function E of x, y in the game whose payoff matrix is given by A equal to matrix A, i, j and M by N matrix E of x, y is defined as E of x, y is equal to summation over i equal to 1 to m, summation over j equal to 1 to n, x i into a i j into y j, which can be written in the matrix form as x transpose into a y, where x and y are the mixed strategies of the players P1 and P2 respectively. So this is how mathematical expectation E of x, y is defined. Now, let f of x, x, y be any function of vectors x and y. Then, if maximum over x, minimum over y, f of x, y and minimum over y, maximum over x, f of x, y exist, we have the inequality maximum over x, minimum over y, f of x, y is less than or equal to minimum over y, maximum over x, f of x, y. This inequality always holds and we will be requiring this inequality in the proof of our theorem. Now, Another thing what we need in the proof is that if A is an M by N matrix then either 1 or 2 always holds. That is either there exists a vector Y in SN such that summation J equal to 1 to N YJ AIJ is less than or equal to 0 for all I or there exists a vector X in SM such that summation over i equal to 1 to m xi aij is greater than 0. So what we have is if a is an m by n matrix either this inequality holds or this inequality holds. Now we are going to a definition that is a point x0 y0 where x0 belongs to En and y0 belongs to Em is said to be a saddle point of f of xy if the inequality f of xy0 less than or equal to f of x0 y0 less than or equal to f of x0 y holds. This is the definition of a saddle point. Now we'll look the proof of the fundamental theorem of rectangular games. So once again I will say what is the statement of the theorem. We have to prove that for an m by n matrix game both maximum over x minimum over y e of x y and minimum over y maximum over x e of x y exist and are equal. What we know is that for any arbitrary function f of x y maximum over x minimum over y f of x y and minimum over y maximum over x f of x y did not exist. So uh, here what we are proving is that 
in case of expectation function or pair function these two quantities always exist and they are equal so we'll go to the proof we have when we consider e of x y with y fixed then e of x y is a continuous linear function of x and it is defined over the closed and bounded subset sm of em for each y that is when we fix a y and consider e of x y as a function of x then it is continuous linear and it is defined over the closed and bounded subset sm of em so what we can say is that maximum over x e of x y exist and this is true for each y so what we can say is that uh, maximum over x e of x y is a continuous function of y and it is defined over a closed and bounded set s n so what we have is that minimum over y maximum over x e of x y exist okay so what we are done is that we are considering e of x y as a continuous linear function of x uh, by keeping y fixed and since it is defined on a closed and bounded subset sm uh, we have maximum over x e of x y exist now consider this as a function of y then it is a continuous function and defined on the closed and bounded subset S n. So minimum over y, maximum over x, e of x y exist. Similarly, we can prove that maximum over x, minimum over y, e of x y also exist. For that, we will first consider e of x y as a function of y, leaving x fixed. And then we will consider minimum over y, e of x y as a function of x. So what we have proved is the existence of these two quantities. Now we have to prove that they are equal. For this, uh, we I had said in the prerequisites that for any m by n matrix, either this inequality holds or this inequality holds. So first we will suppose that the inequality summation i equal to 1 to m xi aij greater than 0 holds hmm? and then multiply each component with by j and then sum up for all j so what we'll get we'll get summation j equal to 1 to n summation i equal to 1 to m x i a i j y j is greater than 0 and this is true for any y so what we get is that e of x y is greater than 0 because this is what the expression for e of x y is so we have e of x y greater than 0 for all y since e of x y is greater than 0 for each y we can say that minimum over y e of x y is also greater than 0 and consequently we have maximum over x minimum over y e of x y greater than 0 so we have this expression now we are supposing the other inequality that is summation j equal to 1 to n y j a i j is less than or equal to 0 then on multiplying each component by x i and summing for all i we get e of x y is equal to summation i equal to 1 to m summation j equal to 1 to n x i a i j y j is less than or equal to 0 then by a similar argument as we done here what we get is that minimum over y maximum over x e of x y is less than or equal to 0 so what we have got is that maximum over x minimum over y e of x y is greater than 0 and minimum over y maximum over x e of x y is less than or equal to 0 
So what we can conclude is that either maximum over x minimum over y e of x y is greater than 0 or minimum over y maximum over x e of x y is less than or equal to 0 always holds. This is what we can conclude either this inequality holds or this inequality always holds. Since any of these two inequalities always holds, what we can say is that maximum over x minimum over y e of x y less than 0 less than minimum over y maximum over x e of x y cannot be true because what we have is that this quantity maximum over x minimum over y e of x y is greater than 0 or minimum over y maximum over x e of x y is less than or equal to 0. One of this always holds which means that this inequality cannot be true. Now let a k be the matrix obtained by subtracting k from each entry of the matrix A and let it expectation be given by e k of x y. Then we can evaluate e k of x y as summation i equal to 1 to m summation j equal to 1 to n x i into a i j minus k into y j and on expanding we will get it as summation over i equal to 1 to m summation over j equal to 1 to n x i into a i j into y j this is nothing but e of x y minus k into summation over i equal to 1 to m summation j equal to 1 to n x i into y j and what we have is that this quantity is always equal to 1 so we will get e k of x y equal to e of x y minus k now since a is any matrix what is true for a is also true for the matrix a k and we had said earlier that maximum over x minimum over y e of x y is less than 0 less than minimum over y maximum over x e of x y is not true so it will be uh, true for e k of x y also that is maximum over x minimum over y e k of x y less than 0 less than minimum over y maximum over x e k of x y is not true on substituting e for e k of x y as e of x y minus k we can write maximum over x minimum over y e of x y less than k less than minimum over y maximum over x e of x y is not true this inequality is not true for any value of k including 0 so what we have obtained is that this inequality is not true for any value of k including 0 so we can say that maximum over x minimum over y e of x y less than minimum over y maximum over x e of x y is false this cannot hold which means the other way inequality is true that is maximum over x minimum over y e of x y greater than or equal to minimum over y maximum over x e of x y but we already have the inequality maximum over x minimum over y e of x y is less than or equal to minimum over y maximum over x e of x y. So from both these inequalities we get the equality maximum over x minimum over y e of x y is equal to minimum over y maximum over x e of x y and this is what we have to prove. So this is known as the fundamental theorem of rectangular games where we have proved that these two quantities exist and they are equal. Now, what we know is that the necessary and sufficient condition for the existence of a saddle point x0, y0 of f of x, y is that f of x0, y0 is equal to maximum over x minimum over y f of x, y which is equal to minimum over y maximum over x f of x, y. This is the necessary and sufficient condition for the existence of a saddle point. So by what we have proved in the theorem of rectangular games, we can 
guarantee that the a saddle point exists in the case of the payoff function and in this case the saddle point is called a strategic saddle point so if x0 y0 is a strategic saddle point e of x0 y0 is the value of the game and x0 and y0 are the optimal strategies so what we can conclude is that every matrix game has a value and an optimal strategy for each player that is what we can conclude from this theorem thank you